You got your riser, now let's put it together. First thing, there's a pool noodle in here. So this is for bags like the Squatch or the Pound bag that have a soft bottom. When it's set down on the riser, there's a lot of room for the disc to move back and forth. So you cut this to the width of your bag and you put it behind your disc and that way it adjusts the disc towards the front and it makes your riser much more stable. This is only for some bags and it's optional. So let's get out the accessory box, the handle, and these two spacers. And then in the bottom is the main riser and these two legs. So the only tool you'll need to put everything together is a number two Phillips head screwdriver that's not included. So let's start out with putting the legs on. So take one of the legs and we're gonna slide it into the leg holder and we're gonna line up the hole that's on the leg with the hole that's on the leg holder. So put it over the cable and over the spring and slide it in. Now once you get to the end, it's gonna be, it's gonna take some force and some twisting to get it to pop past that hole and then turn it until that hole lines up. Now let's do it with the other one. So now let's open the accessory box and get the little baggie that has the two small screws out. Once you have those screws out, we're going to put those into those holes that we just lined up on the leg holders. Now barely tighten these screws. They can strip out since they're going through a thin wall of aluminum. Now the legs are all assembled, make sure the drive line is in the hole that's in the frame and we're going to flip the riser over. Take all the contents in the baggie and dump it into your box and we're going to need the Allen wrench and the two long screws. Let's take out this bridge that's on the frame. Grab the two spacers and the two screws. And put the screws through the holes that are on the front of the riser and then slide these two spacers onto those screws. Now take your face plate and make sure the handle is all the way down. If you did pull it all the way out, then you wanna push the button here if it locked and feed it back in. So right now we want to assemble it with the handle down. Now we're going to take the drive and line up the teeth of the drive with the slots on the drive shaft. So hold it about two o'clock, slide it on, and then rotate it up to vertical. Now we can take the Allen wrench and screw in these long screws. Now those are going into nuts that are in the front plate so you can get these nice and tight. Now let's put the bridge back in. Flip the switch on the side of the faceplate up and find a nice open area where nothing is below the riser and test out the legs. Everything looks good here. So now let's go to the next video and put a bag on it.